First tonight, a mother is looking for justice in the death of her son. It has been two months now since he was shot by a stray bullet, and deputies are still looking for new leads tonight. It happened back in June at a graduation party in Surrey County along Alliance Road. 18-year-old Taekwon Johnson was shot and died on the way to the hospital. Turning your sides, Jason Marks just got back from talking to Johnson's mother. So, Jason, what did she have to tell you? Alvita, the holiday season for Katina White just wasn't the same. It was the first one since Taekwon's death. What made things even harder is knowing the person who killed her son is still out there. Whether we like it or not, we'll all end up here at some point. Is this a nightmare? But family of Taekwon Johnson never thought they'd have to bury him so soon. He was so smart. Had a pretty smile, and he was just my baby. Johnson's mother, Katina White, uses the laughter to hide the tears she's been shedding for more than six months. Some days I just don't even want to get out of bed. That's how bad I be thinking about. Some days I just sleep, lay in the bed. The nightmare White's been living started the night her son died. Deputies say Taekwon was at a graduation party on Alliance Road in Surrey County. There were about 150 teenagers outside in a dark field celebrating when the night ended with the sound of gunfire. They said it was something you see on TV. You had to duck and dodge all under the cars, bullets flying everywhere. Taekwon was hit by a stray bullet as he ran for cover. He died a short time later. He didn't make it to the hospital. This is Taekwon's room, everything he earned in it. Taekwon was a 3.8 student at Sussex Central High School. He just accepted a full scholarship to play football at North Carolina Wesleyan. He might have would have made pro. He didn't get a chance to get married. He didn't get a chance to give me grandkids. Even more troubling is the fact the person who pulled the trigger hasn't been arrested. Surrey County officials say the investigation continues. There were several guns fired at the scene. They continue to interview witnesses, and the attorney general's office is helping in the investigation. It's hard. Hard not having the answers. But that's all White says she wants. I just need justice. I need, a, I need some kind of peace of mind. I'm not going to get it to everybody go to jail who's involved. Now, deputies have arrested one man who they say was at the scene that night firing a gun. He's been charged with attempted murder, but it's not believed he was the one who killed Taekwon. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. We're also told this is a very complex investigation. Surrey County deputies are getting help now from nearby Sussex County Sheriff's Office. But as Jason mentioned, the Virginia Attorney General's Office is also looking into this case. New at 11 a